That's what the work we do is not magic. It's a collaborative work. You know, when I come here, they say oh, it cannot be done in Nigeria. So if we're doing it outside Nigeria, why are we not doing it here? Why are we achieving success outside Nigeria? It's because the government supports us. Like I said, the food hub that we just opened a few months ago, the government was so gracious to give us $2.5 million to open it because they knew they could count on us. They knew the work, they believe in the work we're doing. The government, individual people, I have people giving $30. I have people bringing grocery. That's what it takes. We need to have that same culture here of giving, of knowing, giving without expecting anything in return. That's it. I, a lot of people will be wondering, if I want to reach this woman, how do I do that? How do I connect to you? Can I send your phone number? Can I send your email? How do I get to you? Yes, my, our email address is info, I-N-F-O, at bocservices.org. That's info at bocservices.org. Get in touch with us. We will advise you if you're trying to relocate to Canada on better and legal ways to do it. So when you come there, you are not stranded. You're not on the street. I'm not getting a phone call in the middle of the night saying, baby, we have a Nigerian family that just arrived, no jacket, no shoes, in the middle of the winter. But while in Nigeria, we're here to establish our organization in Nigeria, and we're really, really crying out to different organizations, different corporate bodies, governmental bodies, let us come together and do better by the ID, people that are in the IDP camp, people that are in orphanages, people that are less fortunate, those that are underserved or has never been served. I am here to give myself as a service provider.